Hi everybody, it's Nadia O and I'm bringing to you this makeup look that I've got on my face. It is all brand new products, so um, if you're new to my channel then please hit the subscribe button and I think we'll just dive straight into the tutorial. So yeah, I'm going to go into the Health Mineral Infused Face Primer. So that's what it looks like. I've got you quite close, so sorry about that. And it feels very silicony. Uh, um, so. so that's that one. Then I'm going to put my primer on for my eye which is the Kiko Eye Potions Perfect Eye Contour that's what it looks like anyway guys it's just a squeezy little tube the only thing that I haven't got which I need to get is a dark under eye concealer um, which is I like the Kiko one so this is the only repeat thing I've never used anything else so but this this is brilliant and I don't just want to rely the other concealers are aren't as good um, this actually cancels everything out under my eyes and then I can go in because I don't have to use a lot but you can actually see that it's cancelled all of that out straight away not necessarily darker but you know it's made a big improvement as you can already tell this l'oreal true match is actually going to match me so that's the true match one and so i'm going to put a pump on my and oh to start off with quite a big pump so and I'm going to be using the fake one so I've only used this once in my tutorial um, testing out fake sponges well not fake ones but you know what I mean they just soaked everything up so I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go onto my face with some products product. I'm just going to start with this much yeah, not too bad to match actually. So, sorry, I'm cutting you out again, aren't I? Um, I'm hoping that it's not too bright. I, I, I can't seem to win, so, um, but it's really bright. I Two pumps, I would say. That is definitely a full coverage foundation. So really, I might take the, try and take this lighter sheet and the dark one out the cargo one. One's a powder, one's a cream. So I'm going to go into the cream one. And it is, oh, I was going to say it's dark. And then with my beauty bender, go blue, beauty bender, just go back in. So this might actually be a nice one for my dark oh that's covered really well I'm really impressed with that just seeing if there's a little bit anywhere else that. just to use it all up to be honest with you because I didn't realize how much I needed so I'm just gonna pat that in because it's pretty much the same as and because I always lose it on my chin I'm hoping if I put this around it then I might not lose so much of my foundation. We will see, guys, we will see. Then I've got the Makeup Forever in the HD and it's only a little one, little baby one. Just gonna take a foundation brush and just dip it in and pack it under my eyes because I don't want to put it anywhere else yet. I just want to pack it under my eyes so it's very very uh, 
not it's not powdery because obviously it's powder but it's very I don't know if you're gonna see it but if you can see it you'll understand what I mean so I haven't got any more cream products I've just realized so I can just powder my face it looks nice obviously I don't know what it's gonna look like by the time I get back but we will see smashed box contour kit now I've had this a while, I've never used it, it's brand new so I thought I'll give that a whirl, why not and I'm just going to use a, a little fluffy brush so that I can actually get into the contour but I'm only going to use the contour shade in here that's why people blow on the makeup because when there's full that you technically don't want it to stay in the pan otherwise it'll ruin the rest of your colours so and that's why people blow on the makeup and I know people are like but why that is why let's have the Urban Decay one and I'm going to take uh, just a small one and this colour is so nice for this summer it's nice it warms up my face beautifully so so I'm going to go into the NARS and this is the orgasm one and I'm going to take a slightly bigger brush I know that sounds strange but Do you know what, you know sometimes when I put blush on I'm like, am I actually putting any on? I think that's why I like the cream ones. I'll definitely go it on now. I don't put it on that, I put it on my cheeks when I smile because when you're a little bit older it drags your face. Um, so I've been told. Um, but it is. But it isn't, if you get what I mean. I don't start here. I sort of just give a little bit at the front. So, let me zoom you back in, guys. I'm going to go in with this Rosebud Reviting Mist from Mon U Spa. And this is just to powder down my face, just to stop all the powder that I've put on from actually feeling like my face is full of powder beauty blender I'm just gonna tap in so so like I said I've just washed my face as I call it watered it I primed my face um, and I have felt, found that this way my foundation not my foundation the powder stuff doesn't move as much so and I've only been outside because Again, I got a leak this time, and I go in more depth when the guys or blokes have gone. And yeah, it's not fun. I'm going to be doing my brows now, and I'll be using the Gimme Brief Brow. Brow. So I'm going to try and just go underneath. And then into a tail. Not much of a tail there, Nadia. Okay, let me get a. I need to get one of the brushes just to brush it through slightly because my daughter's right, this is a little bit too dark for me. Something came for Christmas that I might have them microbladed because I could never get this bit here, and this one look, does look like it, so and it works. But you know, this is definitely not the shade for me, so but at least I can have used it and. I can say to her, well, you try it in your eyebrows. 
because this is just too dark for mine so and I didn't have them done that long ago I think it was about a month ago that I had them done so I'm just going to comb them through and there comes the cat's old man how long are you going to be before you go out? Uh, about an hour so have they got enough makeup and stuff? I do YouTube videos when I'm in focus what do you do? I have videos for the YouTube yeah. 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 What do we? Makeup. Yeah. Yeah. God almighty. So. Hello. How much of all that cost you? Too much. No, these, everyone says it's like that. I'm like, I've had them, um. Jeez. Nail varnishes. I've grown the collection from being like 20. Hey. Yeah, so it's not like. I've just gone out and bought them all. They've just accumulated over years. Jeez. So. Right. So. Here they are. So, uh, give me five minutes. Or how long are you going to before you go out? About an hour. Oh, I'll, I'll get in touch with you before then. Yeah. I'll just say a bite of bread and then I'll try and get back on. All right then. All right. So, I've. Uh, smooth them out as best as I can to take some of the colouring off and I haven't got I have but I'm not that worried about actually having um, them stay like this the colour stays on me enough so I've not got to worry about it basically so I look so out of nobody could say that I've not I've altered the balance on it, so if it's too bright now, don't moan at me, I don't care, so I'm trying, that's all I can say. Um, so the next thing to do is, this is the Kiko Milani Prom Queen Eyeshadow Palette, never been used, it's never been out of the box, it's a basic neutral palette. There's nothing fancy about it, so everybody can technically get their hands on a basic palette. I will be first going into, with this little brush, into the, both of the pink and the white, oh, pink and the white, to start off with, because I don't want it to start white. So, and then I just, well, we all know what I do with it. Oh, I forgot to prime my eyes. Oh, I did it, didn't I? Because that's how clever I am. I actually did it. So, I'm just putting it all over so that I can make a nice base for blending colours. Another brush, obviously. And I think I'm going to go into this grey brown just here. Because they're all brown, but they're all... This is like a cool tone brown. And I'm going to put that uh, above my crease. So, oh, I do like that colour. I don't know if you're going to see it. No, not a smaller brush. And I'm going to take the dark shade in this palette. And go into my crease. And on the outer edge. see you can do this look with with anything because once I start blending them then it's gonna blow blow them out so although it looks like I'm putting a lot on when I actually come to blowing them out they should look nice right so that first brush that I started with like I've got no, no more product on and I'm just going to basically window wipe, swirl, window wipe sort of where that dark colour is just to blow it out if you see what I mean oh don't, don't not focus so that is that nicely blown out I'm going to get a packing brush colour Tattoo Studio in the colour On and On Bronze 
or the emerald gold from the colour tattoo. And I know when I tried them on, these take forever to come off. I want to go that far. That's that. Let's pack on some more intensity. Yeah, I like that. So, and then in the inner corner, I'm just going to put my gold. So, so that's why I said you could do this with any neutral palette and any like oh that eye looks really good so that is them two their colour that's why I did this neutral palette because everybody's got browns yeah so I'm going to use the number 7 and um, this is the dramatic lift yes it's a tester but I got quite a few eyeshadows open so I thought well I will use this quicker than I will the other ones so oh god that hurt just try not to poke your eyes out oh that makes them look so much better already I haven't got any eyelashes it's really hard to put mascara on something you haven't got right I, I look pitch perfect there I'm not in the mirror. So I'm going to go in and rather than using a black eyeliner, I'm going to use the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the colour Creamy. So I don't know if that's what you're supposed to call it, that's what I'm calling it. Creamy. Creamy pink. Just to make my eyes look wider. You know when you look here and then look up there there is so much of a difference so for lips i think i'm going to go in with because i've got both of the graveyard girls ones but i think with this look or that i think the red i think it's got to be the red i've got a new red lip liner it is from ps which is no it's not it's from miss beauty uh the pan shop never used it so uh oh look how creamy that is it's like how can anybody moan i think this was a pan Oh, that's so creamy so so creamy that's so nice go before I put the and this is bunny's one um i didn't get it the first time around when i got the palette it's got a really thick applicator it's quite thick actually so And if you do actually use a lip liner, it does make it easier. So, this is the colour Hippo. And I've got it on quite a dense brush. So, I'm just going to see how it works with this. Because it's, it's a lilac colour, it's really pretty. But... Oh yeah definitely looks so much better i know it's lilac but i just wanted to change so and these are all new products so why not and this hasn't dried down yet i thought it was a lip matte oh it's a, yeah a lip paint so why hasn't it dried down yet that's really strange i will come back later with an update on everything so i'm all i've got to squish my face again so 
and this one I'm just going to let sit. I'm not actually going to pat it into my skin. I'm just going to let it sit and dry. So I will see you later on when I've been back and I've had it on a few hours. So, so yes, hopefully you enjoyed this and I'll be back afterwards to let you know how it finished. So I'll see you later. So I'm now back with my final thoughts on this makeup that I put on and it's been on for seven hours I can't go any longer I need to go to sleep so basically the lipstick as you can see is I will zoom you in the lipstick as you can see is the one and I've reapplied this three times this foundation I did have to touch up not touch up pat I've gone out of focus again uh, I did have to pat with my Blotzerotta, Blotzeri, whatever it is, um, and on my forehead because I do suffer with a sweat condition and basically because it is me sweating a lot, it's a lot of them are really put through the ringer. It's not that I suffer with greasy skin because I don't, it is just I sweat. The colours on the eyes are the middle one that I put on. It's, it's still there and the gold's still there. So all the eyeshadow's there. Um, I've lost foundation off my chin, which we all know I do anyway. I've got a bit of lipstick just there but everything else but yeah i can see where my contour line is my bronzer my blusher and my thing here. what's my thing here? my highlight so it doesn't look as on fleek because i've not opened the curtains this is just my camera and all i've done is added light to it which i didn't even know i could do that so another little trick alert today so yeah I will definitely recommend every single thing that I've used um, including the lip liner um, and this pencil because it is still in my waterline now it is still there, it hasn't budged the mascara hasn't gone down here like it normally does um, yeah so apart from the brow colour I just need some thicker brows, I think. I've been out. The dog's been to... Where have you been, Mara? I'll show you. She's been to the groomers. And had all the fur cut off because it's so hot. Say hello. Speak, Mara. Speak. Speak! Speak! Do you want to speak to me? No. Huh? Don't drink my tea. So yeah guys. <coughs> and this is Tink. Now she won't stay for long. Say hello. <laughs> she hates being ordered. Absolutely hates it. There you go girl. See she's fine when you put her back. Doesn't like being ordered. That is very rare for me to actually get her. So, you're fortunate enough to see this one. The other one, well, as you've known, she's got a tail in the video and a face, but she just doesn't like cameras. So, but she's my little dink. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.